I, but I knew it. I called it. Ace in the hole, baby. Oh, shit. As if hoping for Lily to appear, she checks over her shoulder again. Oh. All right, let's see. I think I'm making her nervous again. Oh, pause and malls. Hope I'm not disturbing you right now. No, no, that's not it. It's just easy if Lily doesn't come here. Oh, because it's hard to get around the classroom? Not really. Hanako's gaze drifts, oh my god, past my shoulder towards Suzuni. Suzuni? Hanako nods again. What about her? Don't they get along? Hanako shakes her head clearly. Alright, so Hanako isn't an enemy of Suzuni, technically, but Suzuni isn't a friend with Lily? Maybe Suzuni doesn't like Lily, but Lily's fine with Su Suzuni. Hmm. I don't know. Honestly, they're somewhat opposites. Lily can hear and speak, but she can't see. Well, it's the exact opposite for the other for Suzuni. It does make a strange little sense. Suzuni and Lily are not getting along so well. What do you, what do you mean? Did you see this fine? I didn't see any fine. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's right. There's still this. Um, communication between the two would be all but impossible. It's hard enough talking to Suzuki through Misha, even when you can see uh, whose hands are talking. Oh, yeah, I've, I've always wondered that. Wouldn't it be like almost hell on earth? You have two friends. Uh, one of them's fucking blind. The other one's deaf and mute. Fucking, it's impossible. You can't fucking do it. Oh, she's here now. Oh. Hanako spins around and confirms this. And upon seeing her, she quickly moves to the door. Lily, alright. Lily! Oh! Oh! Oh, shit. Maybe I shouldn't try to go after Hanako for my C. Ah, uh, Hanako, good morning. Is the president here? Y yes. Hanako glances over so as soon as if to confirm she can't hear them, even though that's impossible. I suppose we'd best be off then. Lily's tone and sigh of what seems like frustration makes me raise an eyebrow. I guess there's some kind of enmity. Enmity? I don't fucking know. I can't remember. It's intriguing, but that's not something I'd ask about. I'm sure if they want me to know that they would tell me. So on my third day here, I should be uh, trying to make friends, not find out why people are enemies. Still, it's a fun to find out that this high school is a little feud, just like my old high school. Even if the people here are more tolerant of others, they're still going to get on each other's nerves. Hey, Lily, how are things? I'm sorry I made you uh, run off yesterday. Oh my, is that Hiso? I didn't realize you were here. Seems that Lily is a little embarrassed about being so frank in front of me. Sorry, Lily, I thought you realized. No, it's all right, Hanako. How the fuck is her eyes coming out from her hair? Jesus Christ. Kizio, don't, please don't worry about yesterday. It was just a misunderstanding. If you say, if you say so, I'm still working this play out. Well, then I think you'll find most people are a lot more forgiving than elsewhere. If you're feeling a little confused, please don't be afraid to ask questions. Sure, I'll remember that. Hey, why do you hate Suzuni so much? Fucking hell. Whip him with a cane. Um, Lily. Lily gives a small nod of acknowledgement. I'm sorry, Hishio, but we must be off. He, Hanako doesn't look all that comfortable around. Comfortable here right now, and Lily still seems a little embarrassed. I wonder if my apologies really made any impact. Mind if I accompany you two? Oh my god. Oh my god, this guy is pushing it. This guy is just pushing the envelope every day. Fucking a closer blind girl. And then asked if. Oh my god. I know I'm kind of pushing it, but Lily. Huh, hmm. Still smiling. I'm sure that we can could accommodate you, can't we, Hanako? Maybe it was a bad idea to talk to Hanako. Maybe, maybe it was. Oh, maybe it was. Uh, she looks at Lily, then at me, and then freezes wide-eyed. Sure. Well, then, shall we go? I'm sure Lily wouldn't do this so easily if she saw a scared Hanako look. Looks, but it can't be helped now. Decline after the deal is sealed would cause confusion and problems. Van Gogh, baby. You know what? <sighs> we should. 
I don't know why I should not. Because, uh, hmm, this is tricky. Nah, I, I made the decision. I'm going to keep with it. Like, look at Van Gogh. He's still, he's looking right into the sky, baby. He knows I made the right decision. Ugh. Lily walks beside the wall, laying her cane, a gently tap against it every now and then. Hanako comes along right beside her, so close that she's practically half hugging her as they go. Although it must make her walk in that much harder, Lily takes it in stride. As we turn around the hallway, something hits me in the chest with the force of a steam train. Hanako shrieks a little and my vision goes black. Oh no! Oh! What could it be? Oh shit, I thought I was going to have a heart attack. Opening my eyes, I see a pair of saucer-like green eyes looking up at me. Holy fuck. There's two legless girls. Wow, I guess I guess I was wrong on the other legless girl. Um Hmm. Alright, cool. They belong to the perpetrator. A short girl who bumped into me and now has fallen down on the hallway floor. She wears a PE uniform and has a very worried frown. The form strikes me as a rather strange thing to have on during a lunch break. More striking than that, though, is that she doesn't have legs! Oh! Spider! Oh, yeah, let's look at it close in. As to not objectify the person. Jesus Christ. Uh, or she does, but they're not flesh and bone. Her pale and very much flesh and bone thighs end in the shins and feet made of some black metallic or plastic-like material. Um, I think they're made of, like, plastic, those things. Hard plastic. Are they? No, they have to spring around almost. Huh. Actually, I can't remember, because uh, if I know correctly, you step on the bit, it would spring upwards and downwards, most. Hmm, I'm calling plastic. They look disturbingly artificial and unnatural. It also makes me forget my, my chest is hurting. The girl winches a little, rubs her nose, and jumps up. Oh man, hey, are you alright? I'm sorry about that, really. Why is her name Twin Tails, girl? She's fucking, uh, fucking goddamn, uh, legless, legless, <laughs> legless, legless, fucking hell, uh, shouldn't she be called, uh, legless girl, or, uh, frost egg leg girl, something more identifiable, just the twin tails aren't doing much for me, my man, but, uh, what, what can you do, what the fuck can you do, not very much, I say, oh, well, Oh well, that's uh, Sakura man. Ah, oh, fucking hell! Oh, hey, oh man, hey, well you all right? I'm sorry about that. Really? I wasn't looking where I was going, and you just came out of nowhere. Sorry, sorry. How did he come out of nowhere? You just said you were looking. You weren't looking where you were going, and then you're saying that I just came out of nowhere. That's that's a clear contradiction. Oh my god. Uh, she's looking really apologetic in the hurt puppy way of looking apologetic. Quickly forget about being angry or anything since hurt puppies are my weak spot. Oh my god. So hey, don't worry about. It. Ouch. Ooh. Ugh. Oh. Don't overexert yourself. Don't forget medication. And most of all, don't hit get it in the chest. I try, try to rub my solar plexus to chase the pain away. My breath and attempt to hear my heartbeat. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Hi. The worried high pitched voice of the girl snaps me out of it. Stare for a few seconds, dumbfounded, until I realize I probably look worse. Oh, I really was. Doubled over myself and looking all tense. Damn. I'm worried about my heart. No, I'm fine. Imagine you say something in response. I pull myself upright, feel my sore ribs one last time, take a deep breath. She just knocked the wind at me, big time, but it's nothing more than that. You sure you're okay? I hit you pretty hard. It's okay, I said it was fine, and nothing's broken, no harm done. 
That's good. I was. Oh, oh, Hanako's going to lay the smackdown. He said, "What happened?" She's quite not up to speed for obvious reasons, but she sounds very worried. More than uh, with the situation, deserve really, someone just bumped into me. Nothing serious, just winded. It was sorry, it's my fault. I was going to get some stuff and I was kind of in a hurry. That someone here is Emi, isn't it? The little girl coughs quietly and shuffles her plastic or metallic feet, looking down at them before saying anything. Hi, Lily. Hanako. I guess the girls know each other well. Please try to be more careful. You might be strange enough to enjoy these sorts of accidents, but there are people who aren't. The girl blushes and starts to fidget nervously like a child caught misbehaving. It's so cute I find myself smiling. I know that. I, I, I am, I was just, ah, I gotta go. Teacher will have my head. I promised to help with printouts, but I went running instead. Sorry, but I gotta change and everything. <laughs> That's a fucking noise right there. Before any of us can say a thing, it means already bolted away, leaving the hallway eerily quiet. Does this little thing happen often around here? There are more rules in uh, Yamako than usual for running in corridors. But that really starts stops Emmy, it seems. She shakes her head weakly and offers a slight, composed smile. Smile? Yeah, alright. I don't think there's anything we can do to stop her, I'm afraid. Shall we be off then? Lily heads off along the hallway and Hanako hurries after her. The work to a room the two used for tea is fairly simple to retrace, being still fresh in my mind from yesterday. Lily and Hanako quickly go about the business of making lunch. Before I can even open my small bag of food, Lily busies, busying herself with her thermos. And tea bags as Hanako is saying out both their lunch boxes. So, is this what you meant to uh, by coming here almost every day? Yes, Hanako and I usually have lunch here. It suits both of us, so we end up using this room regularly. After seeing Hanako's reaction to me over uh, the past couple of days, I can understand why that is a boon. That and Lily being able to get some quiet away, quiet away from her class as well. Huh. I take my seat last after Lily poured tea for us and sits down. Oh, the more time I spell these girls, the more I think they're a perfect foil to Misha and uh, Suzuni. Exactly. Lily is the opposite of Suzuni, and Hanako's the exact opposite of fucking uh, Misha. Even with that voice, Suzuni is direct and brash, and Misha seems to get along with everyone. On the other hand, Lily is soft spoken and relaxed while Hanako Hanako seems to be the shyest girl I've ever met. So, how you faring in Yamaku, how you feel? You seem a bit flustered before. Apart from getting lost every now and again and being crash tackled out of my classroom. Fine, I guess. You you look pretty uh, hurt before. Are you okay? For a brief moment. I uh Consider telling Hanako and Lily about my condition, but then I hold back. I can't tell why, but for some reason, I feel uncomfortable talking about it to these relative strangers, even if they have been pretty friendly. Yeah, it's nothing. I was just a bit startled. Judging from the two girls' expressions, I don't think they're buying it. But in, but in what I assume is their way of respecting my privacy, <laughs> they don't press the matter. Oh, these guys are saints. I love them. Oh, they're such a great group compared to our main character he said who wants this bloke when you can have these two well, okay no I guess that is one of the unwritten rules around here don't ask even if people's conditions are obvious like Hanako's there's still bound to be a story involved everyone has things that they don't want to feel comfortable uh, speaking about and I think everyone here recognizes that so uh how long have you been in school you both seem to know your way around pretty well well, I've been here since the start of high school, but I only moved to dormitories a year ago. Because joined at the start of high school as well, I moved to the dormitories when she did. If memory served me right, I moved to when she did. What? Uh, Hanako joined at the start of high school as well and moved to dormitories when she did. Who's she? What? Alright, let's read this. Alright, so she's been here 
at the start of high school, but only moved into dormitories a year ago. Hanako joined at the start of high school as well. Wait, what? And moved to the dormitories when she did. Alright. Alright, no, never mind. It was confusingly written, but I think I understand. So, she's been here all along, her only one year in dormitories. That's right. Since high school... So, you've known each other since then? Yes, I moved. Since I moved, yes, Hanako lives next door to me, so it's only natural, right? Right. Yes, of course. Yeah, of course. Oh my god, this guy's... Oh, he's trying to act cool and uh, mysterious, but he's saying shit like this? What the fuck, you know, so Living next to someone is probably enough reason to befriend them. Though I'm guessing uh, that Lily's blindness played a part in it as well. Oh. Oh, so then you're saying you're going to be besties with Kenji then, you say? Oh? I can't imagine Hanako easily making friends with someone who has to, who has to deliberately avoid looking at her scars. With the immediately conversation dried up, we start to eat our lunch. It's, it isn't long before the... Holy shit, what kind of bells were those? They had all the bells and whistles that time. Jesus Christ. Alright, it isn't long before the bells are signaling the end of the break. Like me, the girls pack up their lunches as, a fa as efficiently as they set them out. Uh, I guess I'd better be off. Are you going to go with Hiseo, Hanako? Hanako looks up at me and for a second she is considering skipping class, maybe just to avoid walking in classroom with me. Y yes <laughs> I don't know what to think. Hanko really is delicate to the point of breaking if looked at the wrong way. It makes me nervous too, but I push the feeling aside, trying to be as natural as I can. We should hurry then. Classroom has already started by the sound of it. Lily gives a nod of farewell as she bends down to take her cane. Hanako and I f filing out before her. Alright, we walk quickly down the empty halls to our respective classroom. As we reach the door to Lily's 3-2 class, she turns towards me. Hisho, thank you for sharing lunch with us today. My pleasure, Lily. Oh, <laughs> new invisibles. And then, what was Hanako saying? And with that, we part ways. Lily entering our classroom, leaving Hanako and me to make off to our own. She's still looking you know, like she wants to run away. So, do you really want to go back to class now? Yes, okay then. I feel like I should say something more, but it's hard to come up with anything that would be appropriate and safe enough. Lily was right. The more time we spend out here, the more explaining we'll have to do. I open the rear door to the classroom and walk in. The teacher looks up at me and opens his mouth to say something. <laughs> Don't you do it! Hanako! However, as Hanako follows me in and closes the door, he simply nods to us and continues his lecture. This is the third time that Hanako has had her truancy uh, practically ignored. There's definitely something going on here. We make our way to our seats. I notice that Misha and Suzuni are both missing as well. I wonder if it's some form of informal agreement with the staff or if it's a park for the unique students at school. What? Trying to make as little students that I can. I extract relevant textbooks from the bag and start catching up. The class goes on quietly. The teacher seems like an okay person, to, besides the weird expression I got. And the material is relatively interesting. I wonder what they're learning, like fucking geometry? However, the way he teaches it is really bizarre. It's as if he expects that everyone is a natural genius. Oh. When the bell finally sounds, I realize there's still a lot of time left in the day. I'm left wondering what to do. It's odd. At the hospital, I had a 24-hour day of free time, but here, filling the considerable uh, shorter hours felt difficult. Everyone else leaves, and I'm a left alone with the teacher. Buto is examining the assignment sheets we were working on together, marking them with the red ball pen. Raising his eyes from his paper briefly, he notices me and furrows his brow. What is it, Nick? I jump at him, addressing me, but I guess Nashville sparked some conversation since there is nobody else around. I'm um, nothing. Think about why I shouldn't do that. School. Uh, the teacher slowly puts the cap of his pen he is holding on the 
pen he is holding, and arranging his paper into a stack, clacking against the desk twice. He seems very methodical. Methodical. For a moment, I'm reminded of Suzuki, but the teacher is more unhurried and relaxed, much more routine. You have no plans? No, I consider joining a club, but I don't know what kind of club would interest me. Go observe me at someone else's club. Might pique your interest, I guess. I just, I don't know. Muto looks at me, that makes me quickly want to take back, you know, the words. Makes me want to take back the words to avoid a conversation, but I can't, so I have to forge ahead. I just don't know how to deal with people. I mean, the other students. I'm talking to people and I think, but it's not like I'd be isolated or anything. And so it's not like I'd be isolated or anything. I just know what to think about. This. It's like the disabilities. It's like it feels like I'm being impolite if I pay attention to them. And it's weird to ignore them. Damned if I do so, damned if I don't. The teacher scratches his cheek absent mindedly, looking, <coughs> looking very unresponsive. These things are only an issue if you make them one. That's what Lily says. You can talk normally with someone even if they are blind to something. Try to look behind the su try to look behind the superficial. There's not a single student here who isn't just a normal kid behind what they might seem at first glance. He says the same thing as Yuko did. What? I thought that was Lily. Oh, oh shit. Oh no. I know they're right, but it's hard. How can you knock and say, for example? Suzuni's deafness when the only way to talk with her is to talk to uh, Misha or Hanako. It's not like you can ignore her face, but oh, I'm interrupted by a door of the classroom suddenly slamming open. Teacher Misha crashes in, hands straight, an enthusiastic greeting. Fucking no, like you mean like uh, one of those Hitler salutes? Jesus Christ, her voice loud and lively. Enough to wake the dead from their graves. She starts towards the teacher's death with her bouncing step, hands energetically swinging with the rhythm. Muto, visibly dismayed by interruption, and Misha in general slumps in his chair. Mikado, Misha, Mikado, you fucking son of a bitch. Misha, stop. The difference in their artwork is so unnerving. Like, this looks more anime-ish, but this one looks... Holy fuck. Yeah, something's off. Something's really off. As if she's sensing from its tone that something's wrong, but has no idea what. Yes, we have talked about volume control before. Yes. But she doesn't lower her voice at all. Teacher just rubs his eyes. So, what is it? Hey, we need help. We are running out of supplies for the festival stands. This is a disaster. It's disastrous. She waves a pink slip of paper she saw around. So, go get more supplies from the art room. What's the problem with that? Plywood. Plywood is always a problem. Last time we wanted more, there was only a little. But that time, we just took it all and went with that. Oh. Now there's not like none left there. So, do you know where there is some? I understand. How would I? See, Chan, I mean, the president thought that a teacher would know if it's plywood. Was she wrong? Muto liked he was in great pain, frowning from his entire essence. Misha doesn't get it at all. Look at the two, looking at the two of them communicate is terrible. Like, look at a man being tortured by drilling his skull open while blasting pop music at full volume at the same time. I'm afraid I have no idea if there is plywood in school, let alone where it would be if there was any. Uh, what should I do? Perhaps I find Mr. Nani Namiya? I'm quite sure he would know where to find everything you need. You will not have to pry them from his cold hands, but that's a different matter. Uh, I don't have time. We're so busy. She holds her hand with bo she holds her head with both of hands, looking as disdain as is possible for a person like her. Without even noticing, she crumples the note she's holding against her hair. I shouldn't even be fetching these things. There is so much to do, and we are falling behind the schedule. Muto looks at her gravely, and then suddenly smiles. Smiling doesn't really fit his face. I think it'd be better if he didn't. I wonder if you could get some temporary help. Oh! He switches staring at me focusedly with a hard expression as if trying to say, Go make some friends. Yeah, I guess I could give you a hand. You can? Thanks, Yishan. You really are nice. 
she pauses, does a double take, and then points at <laughs> points at me with the finger again. Ah! Come to think of it, what's C Chan doing there? Class is over, you should be having fun. We should have a chat. Oh no, it's not detention, is it? Are you in trouble, He Chan? No, I'm not. Is He Chan in trouble, teacher? No, he's not. Mutual size, and I feel like uh, I have to help Misha get her, uh, her off teacher's back. What do you need? Here's a list. I can try to find the plywood from somewhere if there's none in the art room. She offers me the note she's holding. I take it, hesitate a bit. I said I'd help you, but this is but this has no implications of whether I'm joining the council or not. Oh, still thanks, T Chan. Just try to be quick. We are install building strict in that one. We must hurry, hurry, hurry. She bounces out of the classroom, leaving me and the teacher looking at each other with something that feels like solid agreement. <laughs> well, there you have it, Nanako. Uh, Nanako, fucking hell. Who the fuck is Nanako? Uh, damn it. It's Hanako with Nakia. Oh my god, that's nuts. What? <laughs> you have something to do now. Well, there you have it, Nakia. You have something to do now. Please don't sound so smug. Looking at the list with a number of things ranging from paint to plywood. All written with small, neat handwriting that is, that is undoubtedly sheenies. I heave a sigh. I'll be going then. Leaving a long list. Limply a teacher, I exit to the hallway. Oh, I think that's it for now, guys. See you next time, baby. Next time on another Shinji day, on another Shinji time, at another Shinji place. See you later, Mia-san.